Heather McDonald has got the juices scoop. When you're on the road, when you're on the go, Juicy Scoop is the show to know. She talks Hollywood tales, her real life Mr. Segment, serial data, and serial sister. You'll be addicted and addicted fast to the number one tabloid real life podcast. Listen in, listen up. Woo woo. Heather McDonald. Juicy Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop. I have returned guest, the one, the only. Countess Luann, here for your big show Friday night at the Wiltern. Welcome, yes, welcome. Yes, There I, I have it. I know. Mary How much Hill. you love that poster. And I posted saying I'll be there. Uh, so I'm oh, pretty awesome. excited. Thank We're having, you. I'm going to have a big Friday night. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll be having my... Um, Uber driver who I birthed, my son will be dropping me off at dinner before, <laughs> and then will dropping us off at the big show. Oh, so we're ready awesome. to do it. Yeah, awesome. It's going to be great. So you know, Mary F. Kill. It's a game that girls play all right. the time. I didn't even know what Mary F. Kill was until until I started doing cabaret, and you know, I do Q and A with the audience, right. and every single show, I would get asked Mary F. Kill. So, and, and you know what happened is. I thought I thought the name was Mary F. Kill, but it's actually F. Mary Kill. Oh. So I named it wrongly, but guess what? It works for me because lyrically, because I have a new song, Mary F. Kill, that's dropping this Friday. I thought it was always that too, maybe because of you. Right? Exactly. Well, but it's, I think it but can it's go F. Mary Kill. It can yeah. go either way, but now I have the dot com, the so yeah. that's good. Oh, good. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So really, you know, the inspiration comes from the fans. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, you know, I get every show, I'm like, well, duh, that should be my next tour. Because it's all about the ones we'd marry, the ones we want to F, and the ones we want to get rid of we're not yes. killing anybody um and you know and so th the show is really built around uh the music i love right it's a love story with the music and then i i go okay well if i'm gonna sing this song like what's the story that backs into it because that's what cabaret is all about it's mm -hmm. really a personal a story of the of the um entertainer right so people don't understand really cabaret but so my show is it's really pop culture meets comedy meets Cabaret meets fashion. And how many, well, first of all, your body's banging. No, well, you look gorgeous. You, I was just saying your hair is longer. Mm -hmm. And what's so interesting, because first of all, you have gorgeous hair. Thank you don't you. have hair extensions. This no. is your natural hair. Mm -hmm. And you've let it grow longer in a little bit. Yeah. And do you ever kind of look back at all the years of you in your 40s with your shorter, more conservative yes. hairdo? And kind of go, I mean, granted, you look well, gorgeous then, but weren't you? Do you yeah. look back now and go, yes. why? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, why did I have short hair when. Like such you a know, like mom because mode. I, exactly. Cause I, because, listen, I have like a, a big face and yeah. a big, big head, right? So when you have a big face, you need longer hair because uh, it just makes it look thinner. Hair. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I, you know, I like that period of having short hair, but I look back and go, I should have grown it out a long time ago. Yeah, because I think I look better with longer hair. I remember being with my mother at her hairdressers, and she, you know, had this fabulous gay hairdresser. Except that he said this, and I remember being like ten and hearing this, and he said, "No, now this was a long time ago. This right. was been like the '80s. Right? No woman over forty should have hair past her shoulders." Right. And I'm like, who started that rule and why? Right. But I think a lot of women heard that yeah. or thought it or mm -hmm. was like, well, I'm a mom now. Right. There was even a period in my early mid 30s when my kids were little that I was dressing way more conservative. Uh -huh. Yet I was only in my 30s. Right. But there was something that was like, <laughs> it's mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's mom mode. Yeah. Soccer mom, you know, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then you always saw those kind of. Dude, let's call them the little skanky yeah. ladies that would show up, you know, with like, you know, their boobs hanging out and their shirt, their sk skirts were too short. And, yeah. you know, you know what I mean? So I think it's it's mom mode, you know. Yeah. And um, now I, I got to say my 50s, I'm living my best life. You really you know? are. I do what I want. I don't have to answer to anybody. Uh, the kids are grown and they're good. Um, I have the career I've always wanted, you know, which is, you know, listen, I have ultimate girls trip that's streaming on peacock i right. have uh, crappy lake um and i've got some other projects coming up which i can't talk about yet but um and then you know cabaret which is really um 
my love affair. You know, I, I love the cabaret. I love performing. You've seen mm -hmm. my show oh, before. I've come, I've come a bunch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is totally different. And, you know, so people think they've seen Countess Cabaret. This is Mary F. Kill. This is all about, you know, dating apps, love stories gone wrong, you know, and love stories gone right. Well, you I think... The being now, this is we. Is this like your seventh year of doing this? How many years yeah. have you done it since 2018? So, and I, yeah. I mean, I know at least with Six. myself performing, you always want to get new people, yeah. But how many times have you had someone come to a meet and greet that's like, Luann, this is my fifth time seeing you, yeah. and it's because it is always fun and there it is always different, yes. And it's a great vibe, and when people love you, you can go back to those cities over and over again oh, yeah. because you delivered. So I think yeah. that's a great yeah. testament to yeah. you. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, reality stars and people are now, you know, doing a version of a live show, whether it's a yeah, Q &A but it's more of a Q and A moderated yeah, whatever, kind of or, experience. This is so much more than that. I mean, yes, I, I so, work really hard at cabaret. I put on a great show. My director is Richard J. Alexander, who works, you know, he's worked with Bette Midler and Kristen Chenoweth and Barbara Streisand, you know. Um, so I get to work with people like that. Although, you know, as a director, he's amazing, but I pick all the music and I write the show myself. So speaking of that, have mm -hmm. you had an opportunity to watch Erica Jane's two-part documentary on Bravo called Bet on Blonde? I have not. You really should. I should, yes. It's very good. Oh, good. It's very good. I'm happy and, for her. And I think you should pitch yourself to do the same. I am. The, well, we, you know, there's been talk about okay, following I the cabaret really, tour. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm always yeah. curious, you know, and I know a lot of a, a lot of documentaries show, you know, um, everyone seemed to have had one, including J-Lo. Mm -hmm. But knowing the person and seeing what it is and going through Erica's was really interesting because she was very raw about her situation mm -hmm. but it would be really fun to see yours right and, and and showing a side that's not curated by housewives well like if you're frustrated like see the frustration see the thing that doesn't yeah, work right see the Giovanni showroom <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's just Dane itself I mean yeah um you know I uh I think that there's a lot of behind the scenes. Um, that people would love to see. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of work goes into it. And, you know, I have a team of people, I have tour managers and, you know, musical directors and, um, you know, and with this new song, you know, I, Bruce Roberts, who, you know, writes for, you know, he's written for the biggest uh, singers in the world, you know, so, you know, I have a very interesting team of people around me. And, you know, that's what makes it work, right? Yeah, that it, could it be takes really fun, too. And, yeah, lighting and all that stuff. So I do have a couple totally. random <laughs> Mary F. Kills that I've put together. I love it. Let's, and you, let's, let's play. Hear. Let's play. Okay. Jay-Z. Okay. Think about each. Travis Kelsey, mm -hmm. Taylor's football player. Mm -hmm. Or Blake Shelton, Gwen Stefani's now husband, country singer. Uh, Mary F. Kill. Mary F. Kill. Let's see. Um, I am going to F. Travis Case Kelsey. Okay. Good for you. Because he's big and burly and he looks like he'd be a good, you know, <laughs> man he can, handling. He can pick you up. Yeah, pick yeah. me up and throw me down. I love that stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, Jay Z, I'm going to marry. Jay Z, I'm marrying for sure. Because you know, okay, you know he's he could. I'm sure he's, he's hit maker. A, yeah, he's a hit maker, and yeah. he's got a lot of money. Let's do that. And you know, I'm going to have to kill Blake because he's the only one left. <laughs> I I totally agree with that exact do you? scenario. Okay. Also, Travis doesn't mind going to your show a few times over and over. Right. So you can get more than one bang out of them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I love those he's, choices. Those are good. Okay. Here's one more, mm -hmm. or two. I have two more. Kanye West. Okay. Mauricio, Kyle's uh -huh. soon to be ex or maybe just a strange husband, or PK, Dorit's husband. Well, uh, what was the second one? Who was the second one? Kanye, Mauricio, or PK? I'm going to marry PK because he looks like a lovely man who just has loads of money and seems very nice, right? Right. And, he, and, and he, I like his accent. And he, you could do I like the, his accent. And um, you could ask for I another could scenario. Hills. You could do, I could you could do Beverly, Beverly Hills, 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 but you could Housewives. also ask for another <laughs> scenario like he did with the re, with doing The Pretty Woman. You would like another scenario where you could act out something else. I mean, we have to think of another movie like that where he, he acted out the whole thing 
All right. Presented you with a meal. You get to wear the outfit. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. would be fun. You'd yeah. be into that kind of role play that involves jewelry. Yes, I love okay. that role play. I do, <laughs> jewels, we love that. Um, I'm going to have to kill Kanye. Yes, I think I'm okay with that one. <laughs> and I'm effing... Uh, Mauricio. Mauricio. Excellent choices. Okay. Are those your choices too? Yeah. I, I, I totally the, agree. You totally and I are agree. on the same page. Yes, okay. totally We're agree. We're on the same page. Also, I think Mauricio, after a few bones, yeah. I would be done with him <laughs> yeah. because I cannot believe he's doing some really embarrassing TikToks right now. Is some he? real cringy oh, TikToks. Oh, me in. Yeah, what do you he's mean? he's in Aspen and he was doing... The trending song of Beyonce, and he's dancing around doing the. T- the s- now he oh. was on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, also, that's he could, true. Also, he could be he could be fun for a minute, but he might get a little competitive with you. You might want to pop on up on stage. So I think you're right to just bone and then screw <laughs> along. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. Here is our gay friends. Okay, we have Andy Cohen, mm-hmm. Ricky Martin, okay, or Anderson Cooper. <laughs> I'm going to. F. Ricky Martin, right? I agree. I'm going to marry Anderson. Okay. Oh, and now I have to kill Andy. No, you can't. Uh, I can't kill Andy. Oh, my God. I just want to say Anderson Cooper, though, has a lot. I think he has a lot of, like, old money. But Andy, yeah, Andy, and I, I like that he's, Andy you know. Andy Cohen has a lot of old money, too. He's more of a socialite. But are you ready you know, to be I a I like mo- the socialite aspect. But of are you him. ready to be a mommy all over again? No. That's why I'm going to marry Anderson. Yeah. I'm going to have to kill Andy. because I, you know. I'm sorry, Andy. Yeah, but Anderson's got kids, too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> He's got two. So does Ricky. He well, has I'm, like three yeah, little kids. Yeah, but I'm kids. just effing him. I oh, have yeah, nothing right. to do with the kids. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully the kids won't be there. <laughs> Turns out the gay guys were the hardest to choose yeah, from. Yeah, right, right. Um, okay, I want to get into a couple things. Oh, Jill Speaking just posted this. Speaking of killing this. Andy. <laughs> Yeah, this is Jill just posted this. She did. Just, yes, coincidentally. Oh, and that's it, random. And I was talking to her, and it's one of your original photos. Wow. Which I don't think any of you guys had professional makeup. Uh, no. You had the short hair. You had a yeah. cons- kind of a conservative dress it's on. Totally. A long look. How long it is. I Not know. showing off your great legs. All uh, right. And but Jill's like you know, back then she not looks everyone great had iPhones. Right. And I remember this too. Like I guest starred on so many shows. Yeah. And it never occurred to me to bring a camera and go, hey, before we, I leave set, yeah. can I get a photo? It right. never occurred to yeah, me. Yeah, I know. We never so did that. So she's like, I'm the only one that had a camera. Right. So she has a lot of these. She's these got old a lot of these photos. old photos. Yeah. I have to hit her up for some of those. Ramona looks amazing there. Yeah. Bethany looks totally different. Right. She still has her jaw the way it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> She still has her old face. Yeah, yeah. You look better now. (laughs) I I think so. Jill looks basically the same. She does. She totally Um, does. Alex McCord. uh, She looks really cute there. Yeah, and I was so excited to see that, you know, show, but we don't know that we ever will. She makes her return to the other girl, ultimate girls trip. To the clunker. Yeah, so we'll, (laughs) we'll, we don't know. Um, But... uh, Yes, so there was some talk of combining possibly mm-hmm. rumored talk. Right. Would we take some of the OGs, you being one of them, and mm. some of the favorites from the new cast right. and maybe make that the second season mm-hmm. of Real Housewives of New York? But that does not appear to be happening. They said they're filming with all the girls. Yeah, no, I think it's just a rumor. I think it's wishful thinking on the part of the fans. Uh huh. You know what I mean? So, but I do think that there should be. The OGs of New York need to go everywhere. I mean, I was saying to you earlier, you know, we need yeah. to go on below deck. I mean, that's a no brainer for me. Right. Or an oil tanker. Did you see my thing, my spoof oh my with Dorinda? <laughs> okay, you guys, this was really, really funny. And oh I my think God. <laughs> that I think I'm going to work on something and then give you some other pranks uh-huh. to do on them. Okay. Um, oh, let's do this that. This was a trend, a yeah. TikTok trend. Yeah. Which, thank God, they were not made aware of. But we, I think I can think of some fresh ones. So it was so funny. So there's a trend where people are, like, calling their dad or whatever, saying, I finally got a job, Dad. Yeah. I'm going to be working on an oil tanker. They're going <laughs> to teach me how to go underwater and, like, fix it. And the dad is like, what? Uh, yeah. So you are so convincing. <laughs> Tell them how you, guys, how you did it. Well, you know, I, I cold called Dorinda because I know Dorinda would pick up the phone. I mean, so, and, of course, she picks up. And I said, you know, I, you know, I, I have this thing. I'm not sure if I should do it. You know, I need your advice. It starts with the I need your advice. Um, 
uh, you know, Exxon Mobil, you know, have reached out and they would like to have have me go on their oil tanker and um, in Texas. And and Dorinda's like, really? And it, that's a new one. And, and I'm like, well, yeah. And they're looking. It pays a lot of money. To, so the first hook is it pays yes. a lot of money. And everyone's like, mm, what, what, how, how like, long, what? for so, how much money do I have to exactly, do this? Yeah. Exactly. And then she's like. Um, and I said, yeah, it pays a lot of money and it's in Texas. And she goes, is it safe? I'm like, well, remember what happened to the last oil tanker. <laughs> right? and, and then I have to bleep her out because she's like, well, we're going to be around all these men. Are you sure it's going to be okay? I mean, are we going to get pillaged? You know, when we, you know, and, 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 and I bleeped that out because I didn't want her to get in trouble with Exxon Mobil. Yeah. And, anyway, so, um, and then, you know, and then she says, you know, I'll go. <laughs> Cause the point of that whole thing right. is that people are like, no, I wouldn't go on an oil rig, but every single housewife, and that's what yeah. I love about housewives. <laughs> they're like, sure, I'll go. You oh, know, we get to do it together. We can, we'll go together. I mean, this is a far cry from three women at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> that's right. All in outfits answering some questions. Like, but you went to, you also did it to Kelly. I did it to Kelly too. Be- and, Kelly Bessimone. Kelly Bessimone. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, sure, if I get to go with you and maybe we're on the oil tank and we're together, I mean, it pays a lot of money. I mean, let's go. Yes. <laughs> and I just love that because housewives are down to do really just about anything. And right. I love that attitude because uh-huh. it's like, why not? Let's go. We're Especially make if we're money. together. We'll go together. And yeah. I've never been on an oil tanker. So, you know, let's go. So then wait, in the clips, when did you tell them that it wasn't real? Because well, I don't think so, we saw that part in it, the video. No, no. So so Dorinda, which was perfect time, and she goes, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got to call. I got to take this. I think her daughter called. And I was like, yeah. I'll call you back. And I hang up and I'm dying because she's yeah. already accepted to go on this oil tanker. <laughs> and then I call her back. And she's like, oh, it's not real. You know, <laughs> she was disappointed, you know. And um, Kelly, Kelly, same thing. I called her and I said, you know, that was just a, she goes, oh, okay. She Anyway, she, they all accepted to go, which was the hysterical part, which right. is like, they're ready to do anything. You know? I think that, is very, very funny. It was, it was very, very funny. clever. Support for today's Juicy Scoop comes from Honey Love. Whether you are a bride, a wedding guest, or simply seeking everyday smoothing, Honey Love is the go-to for all things shapewear. For a limited time only, you can get Honey Love on sale. Get 20% off your entire order with our exclusive link, honeylove.com slash juicy. Support our show and check them out at honeylove.com forward slash juicy juicy. I have told you guys how much I love Honey Love. My shapewear has given me a waist I've never experienced. It is the G-string, suck you up to just under the boob. It looks so good. I also love the super power short. That is really helping ladies everywhere, just sculpt and smooth from the stomach to the thigh. It never rolls down, and this is the thing to make you feel hot and sexy. Treat yourself to the best bras and shapewear on the market and save 20% off at honeylove.com slash juicy. Use our exclusive link to get 20% off, honeylove.com slash juicy. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support Juicy Scoop and tell them I sent you. Move with confidence thanks to Honey Love. A lot of Juicy Scoopers ask me about my hair. Thank you very much. How do I style it? Well, it can be very time consuming until just recently because let me tell you about Way's new anti-frizz cream. This lightweight cream provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours. Also, there's heat protection up to 450 degrees because you know I use the curling iron and the curl brushes and the hair dryers. Also, it helps reduce and repair split ends, which is something I really need while quenching dry hair with intense hydration. I absolutely love it. And 90% of participants, according to a consumer perception study, said that their hair looked less frizzy. Frizz free up your schedule with whey. Go to the way, dot com and enter promo code JUICY for 15% off any product. That's the way T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com promo code juicy. Speaking of other shows, like would you ever consider going on Traders? Did you watch any of Traders? I, I did. I did. And, you know, I think the Housewives are really key for that show. They really are. Because Housewives are just, they are quick on their feet. You know what I mean? They are, they're very conniving. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of the perfect 
um, show for Housewives, I think, and I think they do well with Housewives. You know, maybe next season. Let's see. Yeah, Let's see. I, I, would think, lo- I, I would love to do it. Actually, I think. And then, what about other like? Big Brother, but internationally. Would you do something like that? Is that a survival thing? No. The only thing that I... I don't like competition shows too much. No. The reason why I think Traders is the perfect show. Mm -hmm. Because the the physical competitions are not hard. And and you're kind of doing it together. Right. So you can kind of be... And it's all for a good cause, right? Isn't it a charitable part? No. It's for you to raise more money for the winner and you hoping to be the winner. Right. Got you. But the activities... They're not like that. That grueling. tremendous. They're not yeah. grueling. Yeah. And but and also it's like I feel like it's in a shorter period of time. The Big Brothers, which has always kind of made me nervous, if they, I was ever to ask, is you're like in a place for like thirty days, right? No phone, no off. Yeah. Time. No, that's not. And that's I feel like that would be hard. And that's yeah. why I think the traders is. A pretty attractive thing to do. Yeah, I think no, they can get it, really good fun. stars. You know, I did the mass singer. That was that oh, was let's fun. Let's talk about yeah. the mass yeah. singer. Yeah, yeah, that was hard. Because when I <laughs> so when I hung out with you at your friend's yeah. fabulous house overlooking all of L.A. Yes. Oh yeah. You Pam. were there to do the mass singer, and I had yes. to be secretive. Exactly. I couldn't say. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that. I haven't really heard your well, whole, like, they, they call you up, they ask you to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, of course I was, you know, um, I was, you know, it's a big show. And, you know, I was honored that they asked me. And then, you know, um, but let me tell you, it's it's not easy to sing with a mask on, you know, to carry this big costume. Now, you can't you... really see, you know, down. You can't see oh, to the right, right or left. Yeah, peripherally, You can only see, yeah. you know, forward. I almost tripped and, you know, killed one of the dancers. <laughs> But anyway, um, you know, it was wait, a wait, lot let me ask of fun. A question. Do you have a choice? Do you have a choice in what kind of weird costume you get to choose from? Well, we talked about it, you know, and it, it came as, you know, basically they said you could be this, that and the other thing I can't remember. Or you could be a flower. And I was like, I, I like the idea of being a flower. And hibiscus came up kind of because I don't know. And they, they asked me, what does the flower mean to you? I said, well, that's how my mother descri- described puberty. Basically, she said, you know, you're a beautiful flower that one day will bloom. And that was my, <laughs> that was the story my mother told me. So I kind of put, you know, I don't know, I, I could put that out there and it turned into hibiscus. Don't ask yeah. me. But that costume was amazing. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And they sent out seamstresses from Los Angeles to New York to measure every single part of my body. Like body parts didn't even know that like you mattered. needed to measure <laughs> or mattered, you know. And so, so professionally done. I mean... You wear a mask around the set because, and you're like Darth Vader. You're covered from head to toe in black clothing. You wear a Darth Vader kind so of mask. Nobody knows, nobody knows who's who's anybody, you know. So it's all very secretive, and um, you know. And little did I know that you know there was the, there were so many people that I knew that were on the show, you know, com- competing. I had no idea. Um, I think one of the Vanderpump, what's his name, um, the big scandal guy. Oh yeah, Tom Sandoval. Yeah, he yeah. was on that season too. So um, we, you have no idea, right? Who's who's under the mask, like as you're as you're filming the show, and you know it's a challenge. It's a challenge to be able to sing well, you know, under a mask and kind of navigate did you the do? stage. I did rain. It's raining, man. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I was manifesting basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm manifesting love for myself. So when they gave me some song choices, I'm and, like, I'm doing it's raining. And that was a challenge for me vocally because, but you'll see in my new show, Mary F. Kill, that, do do that my song? range is really has grown. And um, I'm doing some, you know, I'm covering flowers in the show, which is great. Miley. Yeah, I'm doing Miley. And um, she. they actually reached out and said, you know, we'd love for you to come and surprise Miley. We're not sure she's going to win the Grammy, but would you come out? And I was like... And, you know, I couldn't because I was in rehearsals in New York, but I should have gotten on that plane because she won. So that must have been some party, I tell you, that I missed. But, you know, now we're in contact. So hopefully she'll come to see uh, me at the Wiltern on Friday. She might pop pop in. Oh, my gosh. There's, it's really star studded. And I'm yeah. not just talking about myself. Uh-huh. Um, what, so, and, and I'm so happy for her. She won the Grammy. I, you really... I love Miley Cyrus. I'm a huge fan because, you know, what? Oh, I know. she's abroad. Yeah. She's abroad like you and me. You know what and I mean? She, She's our kind I of girl. I love her voice. I love all her mm-hmm. songs. Exactly. Um, now, did um, what were the clues 
that you gave? I didn't get or so what were the clues they, they said. You know, I thought they gave too many because Jenny McCarthy and I know each other. Yeah, you know, our kids went to school together in New York, so oh, I, I know, know Jenny okay, well. Yeah, yeah. so um, you know. The kind of nursing thing with the hospital sign. And then there was the Statue of Liberty. And she knows my figure, right? So I'm like, you know, tall and, you know. Yeah, but you can't th- see it in the weird flower no, but outfit. still, yeah. you know, I'm tall and, you know. And the nurse thing was a giveaway for her. You know, the Statue of Liberty, because, you know, the Dulles yeah. family gave the Statue of Liberty to America for the French, as some of your listeners might not know. Oh. Um, did you know I- that? Yeah, no. Ferdinand de I mean, Seps. no, I knew that it was a gift, but I did yeah. not know it was that the was Seps your family. It was the gave it to America. Oh, my God. He was the one that presented it to America. Because oh, wow. he was so important in France because he literally was responsible for the Suez Canal and the Panama Canal. Oh, wow. He, he was the engineer behind all of it. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, I I felt she had too many clues that would, you know, yeah. make her No, it was me. And then my voice is pretty particular. Yeah. I mean, even with Raining Men, you know, my family was like, I knew it was you. Right. Because they know my voice. But then when you answer questions, it has to be that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's like okay, the Mickey yeah. Mouse thing. Yeah, because yeah, I think if we heard you're talking. Yeah, yeah so that, sure. That's fun. That was yeah, a fun one. That was really fun. That was, you know, that was a great experience. You know, I didn't make it all the way to the end. But, you know, listen, they had amazing singers on the show. I forgot who won. Who won the mass Singer that I don't know. I, I didn't Meaning totally that. watch it. Yeah. Okay, but. Let's talk about, since you, you know, are an international person who is a countess and everything. Um, we talked about this briefly. and You're like, I don't really know what's going on. So the, let me just, because I've talked about it here. So I want to do an update on Kate Middleton. Right. So these, Update me. What's the latest? So, so a, a conspiracy started a few weeks ago on the internet where people are like, where is Kate Middleton? We haven't seen her right. in a couple months. Things were, she was supposed to have this. Um, scheduled surgery, but then there was like, yeah. you know, ambulances coming and then something was canceled mm-hmm. and people were sort of laughing about it. Like, oh, you know, that's maybe she's recovering from a BBL or a facelift and like, you know, funny right. things like that. Right. Then um, she did this Photoshop. She put out a photo from her right. camp right. of her with the kids. Yeah. And it was a really, really bad Photoshop. Right. Yeah, that and, I know. And then, mm-hmm. you know, people started to wonder, well, is this somebody, you know, at the palace who wants to kind of screw them by saying, like, there's something more going on that we did a really bad Photoshop. Right. Then she comes out and is like, oh, I'm just a mom who wasn't good at Photoshop, which nobody believed that either. Right. So more and more, like, what's going on? Is she it that put she put out her own social media stuff? Come please, on. And, like, she's fussing right. around she's with fussing her around Mac with and a her. mouse. <laughs> and so, so then other rumors were, you know... Was he having an affair with uh, their mutual friend, this woman Rose? Was do, is she finally like getting ready to divorce him? What is going on? I was like, you know what? Maybe after she got this routine surgery, she just enjoyed the time off and was finally allowed to watch The Crown and was like, I want to fucking see what happened on The Crown exactly. with nobody around. Yeah. I don't know. Right. But then, just on two Monday, just on Monday, the mm. Sun comes out with these videos of her of she and William Mm -hmm. walking around a farmer's market Uh and only one video was taken from way far away right like what is this 1975 with the cameras right not one person there said oh my god did a tiktok oh my god i just saw you know kate and right and william oh my i here's my video of it not one person saw it Mm -hmm. so E, and then TMZ is like, it's true, it's her. And the son is like, it's her. And people are like, oh, I think the firm is paying them to convince us that it's really her. People think it's a lookalike. But then this woman who is the most popular lookalike who gets paid to make appearances, right. mm-hmm. she came forward and said, I have receipts to show that I have an alibi. I did. This was not me walking by. This right. was not... Right. However, there could be other. She looks more like Lisa Vanderpump than she, she does. does. She does. Look like Lisa. <laughs> and and uh, um, this this doesn't. This looks like Kate. If yeah, maybe it does. she had a lower facelift or yeah, something. It looks like she just doesn't have any makeup on, and she's just casual. Yeah. And but if she was recovering for any any kind of surgery, she's carrying a bag. She's walking great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then right. people don't think that maybe they think that both of them are not him. There's a different height. It's all of this. Uh-huh. And 
And then other people are like, leave the woman alone. She's probably enjoying her time off. Right. From Recuperating the lime, from whatever from it the is. From the limelight. Right. I don't know that we're going to really know, but I just think if you were she, okay, and you, but you were not incapacitated. Right. You just were watching The Crown. Yeah. You were a little annoyed. You liked your time off. Maybe you got some surgery done that taking longer to recover. Maybe it was elective. Right. What would you do? Would you just go to a farmer's market and let the more talk happen? Or would you do like a video and be like, I'm fine, guys? Exactly. I would do a video. Yeah. <laughs> we would. Yeah. Right? We would. And we would like, say, look, you know, I, I took a little time off, but I'm fine. Everything's good and et cetera. And, and just squash people's, you know, uh, gossip about it. You I know mean, what I mean? Anything, let's, if let's... I was perfectly fine, I would want to do it just for the sake of my kids. Right. And to, that to, I'd be like, we're fine. Stop all the speculation. We're you know? fine. Yeah. I'm, t- you know, right. I, I gonna be fine. I'm just taking more time off. Right. But you know, yeah. thank I, you for your concern. I don't understand why they just don't do that, or even that, that's uh, even why, a photo. That's why that's, I don't think this is true. Right. Like I don't. I don't believe this was them. Right. Right. So even a photo, you know. Yeah. So, you know, a, a real a photo, photo that can't a, be that that doesn't right. look like it's been touched. You know. Yeah. Because people, you know, I think you think this is IG. I, I think it's IG. I think they found maybe they found another lookalike. I mean, people can so easily look like each other. I mean, especially with plastic surgery. So many right. times I'm like, did, is this Khloe Kardashian or is this Larsa Pippen or is this da da da? You know, when with people getting stuff done yeah. and then you find like a younger version, like. It's funny because she does look a bit like Kim Kardashian. Yeah, like What's her name. No, the, Larsa. Yeah, Larsa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Larsa doesn't look anything right. from Miami, anything like she did when the show first started. Right, right, right. She had a beautiful, unique mm-hmm. nose. I think she is Lebanese, and then she got a nose job, and I think that's what really changed her look. Then right. she got all the fillers and right. the right, right, and the right. butt and the curviness, and right. even like her voice changed. If you watch like the first oh, episode, really? it's kind of crazy. Really? Oh my god, I don't follow Miami that closely, although yeah, it, I do it's love a little crazy, Mary Soul and Alexia. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I think you can, you know, Miami is good. That's that's one that's come back and yeah. really been pretty entertaining. I know, and I love that for them, you know, because yeah. they were gone for years. Like six years. Yeah, yeah. for a long time. I, remember, I was with the Miami girls when they just found out they were doing the show again. Which, who were you with? I was with Mary Soul and Alexia. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and, and Alexia's like, you know, I, I don't know, you know, with her accent. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're going to be on full time with Mary Soul. And Mary Soul's like, well, I, I don't know either, you know, why not? And, and I think, you know, Mary Soul just loves being a friend because yeah. the pressure is off of storyline for her. Right. She just shows up when she feels like it. She's got that lovely new husband. Yeah. Who is divine. And she's happy, you know. She's funny. She's funny. I yeah. love Mary Soul. She's a riot. And you Do you ever hang with her? Yeah, I've met her a couple times. I want to say at some of the parties. The, right. Like Jill Zarin's friendly with yeah, her. Exactly. And, and um Did I you go Patty's to Jill's party? friends with her? Did you go to Jill's party this in year? No. Oh, the 60th for birthday? For her birthday, yes, you were. No, because okay. my son had, um, you would die if this was the funnest day of my life. It was a, He's a senior in high school, so they have, and he goes to an all-boy Catholic high school. Uh. So it was the mother-son, like, fashion show. Oh, So all the boys fun. wore tuxes, and we, like, got and all we, I invited all. my friends. We had a table. Oh, okay. And there was it. just no way I was going to miss that. Yeah, but I, I did miss a good one. Yeah, yeah. Did I you go? It. No, I didn't go. I couldn't We go missed either. a good one. I know. I would have loved yeah, to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, But, you know, I'm going to be in Palm Beach uh-huh. um, doing shows on April 5th and 6th. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. And I'm going to be in April. I'll be in Modesto and Sacramento as well as San Francisco. San Francisco, I think, is sold out. No, it's sold out. But Sacramento yeah. and Modesto, I have. I was checking Yeah, I've never been to those two venues, so. It's going to be great. There's going to be lots of uh, Luann fans. <laughs> so, um, okay, now let's get into your oh, love life. Jeez. Luann, did you or did you not date Oliver, who is Mary Kate Olivier. Olsen? Olivier. Oh, thank you. Olivier. How do you say his? He's Sarkozy. Sarkozy. He is he's the Mary brother. Kate Olsen's of the Olsen twins, yeah, but he, ex-husband. Right, but he's also is the brother of the ex-president of France. Oh, have you known him for a long time? Yes, I've known him for a long time. We're friends. So it was just friends. Yeah, we went to have lunch, you know. Um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm dating. I just noticed you have a tattoo. I do. I when will... did you get that? Uh, when we went to um, 
where did the witches are from? <laughs> Salem. Salem. I was in Salem. We were filming Housewives. And remember, Leah got a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Ebony got a tattoo. I didn't get one till the next day because I couldn't figure out what I wanted. And then guess what? I opened up an app. I have this like astrology app and it was the day of the lotus. And I was like, that is it. Because, you know, I love yoga. I love, I'm very spiritual. And um, so, yeah, I just love it. Isn't it beautiful? Is that your first and only? First and only. You know what? I was told my whole life that I could not have a tattoo. Right. And now I'm living the best life in my 50s. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get an effing tattoo if I want to. And I did. And I love it. And have, do you feel like you want to have more now? No. And what do you think One about- One and done. <laughs> what do you think about how Kyle of uh, Beverly Hills, once she kind of had her, I like to say, I don't want to say midlife crisis, I right. say awakening, yeah. sobriety, workout, yeah. best friends with a country singer, right. maybe more than best friends, mm-hmm. Morgan Wade. Yeah. Um, separation from Mauricio of 28 years. Yeah. She is enjoying getting the little tattoos, which is very popular right. among younger people. Like right. the tattoo style has changed. Right. Like 10 years ago, it would be like the really intricate artwork right. all over an arm. Exactly. Now it's the little, now little, it's things. Little, little, little things. things. Little things. Exactly. Things. And so she's gotten a bunch of those. Right. Right. Well, you know, why not? Yeah. It's, you know, I, it's her body. Yeah, exactly. That's it's, what she said. Like, yeah, yeah, it's her body. She can, you know, do whatever she wants as far as I'm concerned. Listen, you know, um, I think there's a sleeve tattoos and then there's, you know, little, you know, let's call them um, keepsakes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. This is like a keepsake. And, you know, it's so funny because my daughter it's, goes. It's a cool my, place my, to put my, it. It's just on the inside yeah, of her wrist. because it's for me. Yeah. It's for me. It's not for other people, you know. So, and my daughter goes, Mom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lotus has seven points. Yeah. And that's my lucky number. Now, I didn't realize that when I got the tattoo. Oh, so it turned out to have even more meaning than you thought. Exactly. That's cool. I really like Mm -hmm. that. Last night on The Valley, which is a spinoff of Vanderpump Rules, they have a pool party. It's about a bunch of the people from Vanderpump and a few new people with their kids. And... You know, they used to have tarot card readers or whatever. They had a tattoo person, uh-huh. and anyone could wait in line and get their and get a tat that their free tattoo. Right, that's kind of a cool, kind gift. of cool. But as I mean, I'm still like, okay, it's still on you forever. Right, you might want to. I still have this. Remember, Jill Zaren? Were you at Jill Zaren's party in the summer where they no, were putting I, these gold bracelets? But on? I, I got this a few months ago, Look. and it's the permanent jewelry, and yes. you don't really ever take it off because no. there's no clasp. There's no, you don't and take I it off. I love it. I love it too. I think it's great. Yeah, it's a great. So speaking of gifts, you know, yeah. when you go to a party, I don't know what that company was called, but but uh, but I love them. Yeah, I think that's a great gift because yeah. you're right. You don't take it off, and then you constantly remember yeah. where you got it. Exactly. Um, you have a beautiful ring on yes. this finger, <laughs> and I was going to ask you about this, and then you. I saw it. I was yeah. I was gonna say, what do you do as a woman who was married twice? Mm-hmm. What do you do with your old engage not old, but your engagement rings, your wedding rings? Well, so this one I have on now is like, I don't know, it's I guess five carats or so. And uh it was my first wedding ring to married to the count and I made it into a pinky ring. Why should it sit in the safe? So for all those years since you've been divorced, it was just sitting in a safe? Well, for a number of years until oh, okay. I finally decided I'm gonna wear it, make it, you know design and make it a pinky ring and the second marriage uh, from tom i i sold okay I, I didn't want to keep it all right good i didn't want to have it in my face now but so now <laughs> and that was a yellow canary that one was like eight carats that one and this ring you would never consider would you ever consider no, giving that no, to your this son is for or my anything daughter or, or my your son. daughter yeah but only when no, because it's a pinky ring. This is not, you know. Like you're not going to. Yeah. I mean, my son could give it as an engagement ring, you know, but I would have to be dead by then, you know. That's what. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and also, I think like. I'm I'll, keeping I, it. He can I'll, get his I'll, own ring. <laughs> I said to my boys, yeah. because they can be, you know, a little fiscally responsible, a.k.a. <laughs> could be a little cheap. All right. And I just want, I said to them, I go, listen, if you either of you find a girl. Yeah. And then you see how much diamonds are, and it's going to keep you from asking them to marry. I want you to know. Yes. I will give you the diamonds I'm currently wearing. Each of you can have a ring. I have my right. mother's ring and my ring, and uh, they're both equal beautiful. cost uh, right. or whatever. Both right. a little over a carat, good yeah. rings. Yeah. Add to it, design it, make it your own thing. Yeah. But I don't 
ever not ask the girl to marry you because, because you don't have a or because you don't have the money or something. Right, like, go exactly. be in love. Right. You know. Well, darling, they have plenty of rings where this came from. So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I love it. Um, okay, th- what about this other cat? Oh. Now, this Joe guy, Bradley. Joe Bradley, who is he? He's on Southern Hospitality. So talk about okay. Vanderpump. It's kind of a spinoff right. I, I, of I Southern Charm. I obviously have heard of the show. It's yes. one that I have not It's new. It's a watched. new show. Right. And you were on the show with him. I was on Watch What Happens with live. Andy. Uh-huh. Very, and it was fun and flirty. And then yes. this girl, Danielle, who is a regular on Summer House, was yes. in, the, um, in the small audience. Yes. And they had dated. Or right. they were dating. They were dating. They, they were, were dating. dating. And then there was all, all this stuff that <laughs> said that after you guys finished the taping Watch Homes Live, the two of you went. What is the story? So it wasn't what the, is the two true of us. Story? He was with some of his Vander, uh, um, Southern Charm, Southern Hospitality uh, People. cast. Yeah. And Danielle was there as well at the okay. Dream Hotel. Um, and I was with a couple friends who had come. Pam was there who I'm staying with here in L.A. Yes. Pam was there and uh, my friend Lucas. So we were went out as a group. Right. right. And we were having, you know, we were having a good time. We, um, I like him, you know, he's charming, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, charming. And it's interesting, you know, boys that are, I would never go out with a 28-year-old in my life. My son is 26. But somehow he's m- much more um, mature. And has good manners. I think mothers in the South give those boys, you know, the rules of, you know, being with women and how to treat women. You know, he's yeah. the kind of guy who opens the door and who asks me first if I want something to drink. And, you know, I I, I love that kind of um, I love that kind of thing. I love good manners. Anyway, so I thought him very charming and we had a good chemistry, the two of us on the show. You can see it. Have you seen when they had their little reunion on um, with Andy and this came up? Yes. Yes, I did. I saw a clip of it. It definitely seemed like his (laughs) friends do not believe him (laughs) when he says, I did not hook up with Luann. Well, should they believe him or should they not believe him? They should believe him because he came, he did come over to my house with my friends, exactly. And we, you know, we had kind of a nightcap and everybody kind of went home. So they think because he came over to my house that he slept with me. Okay. But he did not. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. But, you know, um, I would love to. <laughs> now you say, now I, you, you would love to. You yeah, would love to. sure. He's hot. Right. Well, then why 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 don't you? Well, because you know he lives in South. Well, Carolina. don't you have a show in the South? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you my know, th- you know that me, I have my never friends been begging me to go to Char- to I've do it in Charlotte. I've never been. I've never been. Have you? Um, I've done shows in Charlotte. Right, but that's North Carolina, no? Yeah. Right, but so Charlotte, he's in South. Or well, right. yeah, but you could do yeah, you could do I where could Southern do, Charm is. Yeah, exactly. Wait, Charleston. Charleston. Yeah, exactly. Charleston. And I've it's done Charleston. Atlanta. You've done Atlanta. I've done you? Atlanta. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 And all right. Well, so maybe I'll have to get over Charleston. I think so. <laughs> oh, well, I heard, first of all, that Charleston is like a great place to meet guys because it's oh. teeming with, you know, boys with good manners. And, and I love that. Well, my friend um, got divorced in Charlotte. And oh. she's in love now with, you know, you someone. See? But Quick I'm turnaround. telling you, between her divorce and who she's with now, yeah, never have any of my L.A. friends dated so many eligible people as my friend did. There you go. It is uh, like... It was like it's like a utopia. Yeah, I know. We need to go. I mean, you're you're not single. <laughs> I'm married. I know. I, I you're not single. I'm going to go. No, but I'm telling you. You know what I'm going to do? It's I'm, very. I'm going to take my niece there. She needs to me to go. It's I'm very. Take my niece. You should. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Divorced men. It's good men of a certain ages. It's like. It is just a plethora, uh, and it's kind of I kind of like the weather too because it's sort go. of similar to it's similar Next to gonna California go in weather. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to go in April or May for my birthday. Why you, not? You know, you can go on the boat too. They have lakes and stuff, and you oh, know how to you know how to I run do your know own how to run my own boat. boat. Yeah. Oh my God, I love my Boston Whaler. I love that thing. I miss it so much. Oh my God, I have to text my guy and make sure he gets my boat in the water on time. You know, because the Hamptons, it's a big rush for Memorial Day, like to get the boats out. Okay. And, they, and they're overwhelmed. So it's like I have to hit him up early because otherwise my boat's late. Like just clean the boat. What are they supposed to do? Get the boat out. They have to scrape the bottom. They have to repaint it. It's like a whole thing. Oh, it is. Okay, I don't know. It's a whole thing. I got to go on the boat. Yes, you did. I got to go on the the new one or the. I think the old one you went on. It was last. It was this summer. 
This oh, past so you summer. went on the yes. new one, yeah. Yes, yes. And you you were able to do I the whole thing, thing and yeah. turn on your yacht yes. rock music. Yeah, here we go. I love it. I even hate to come home at night because it's so gorgeous up there. So fun. You know, it's so fun. You'll come back. Yes, You'll absolutely. Back. Okay, now Oprah did, has come out and she said, I have been using the semi-glutide. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Weight Watchers now can offer it. It's much more accessible to a lot of people, and there's a big special on it Mm -hmm. um, on Hulu. And obviously, I've talked a lot about it. I have a lot of friends. I understand all the controversy. I also understand the the when people I've joked about it when people are angry that their friends that maybe were never as thin as them. And they had skinny privilege, where meaning they didn't ever suffer from any kind of right. eating issues, and right. they could pretty much stay thin their whole life. Mm. And those, I didn't like when those women were mad that their friends were getting thin. And I talked to my one friend who was naturally thin her whole life. Yeah. And I go, that's not like being a Christian. Like you should be happy if that's we should right. be happy that America can finally get a hold yeah. of this because of obesity is a like problem this in this country of our food that's and right. like all that's this right. and the portion sizes and all these right. things that we mm-hmm. and she goes well it's the one thing that came easy to me she's like it's not like i can just take a shot and sing as well as adele and i was like oh my god that is so <laughs> funny to me because right. i think people think oh yeah. and you have a great figure and wow. you've never struggled with weight but yeah. you're also athletic and everything right right I just want to get your opinion on the whole thing and how many women and probably women you know are on it. taking it and, and enjoying it. it. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's great for people that really struggle with their weight. Why not? You know, I just wonder, you know, what happens when you go off of Ozempic? Do you have to live with it the rest of your life? Well, what is the story there? What are the side effects? Do we know a lot about that? You know, that's that's the only concern for me. It's like when you go to have liposuction, right? You know, we, are you going to get the the fat back and is it going to come back in a different place? You know what I mean? So like in your bra strap. Yeah, like, yeah right. It does. It does and I do apparently. think, yeah. I actually talked to a plastic surgeon mm-hmm. recently, like at a party and he was like, yeah, business is like really slow. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because they don't need to get the liposuction. They right. don't need to get, you know, the cool sculpting and right, stuff because, because they could do this yeah. and lose that stubborn 15 exactly, pounds. I, exactly. But I just wonder, you know, the long term, you know, well, how do you... Uh, I know some people, mm. first of all, I, I didn't, it's been around, people have been on it on the DL in New York and stuff for like seven to eight years. Is that right? Or oh, yes. I didn't even know that. And they actually, it's been even around even longer. And with some people that can afford it and want it, they they're like I'm gonna be on a low dose for the rest of my life. Okay, and yeah. I don't care. Other right. people will go maybe, you know, if they feel like they're gaining a little bit of weight every six months, go on it for a little. Mm-hmm. Um, and then other people, you know, was managed to get off that postmenopausal weight, that COVID weight, mm-hmm. get back to their vibe, right, and and just relearn to like i don't have to finish even if it's a healthy salad i don't have to finish that salad right once you start to feel the pangs of fullness right pretend that you're still on ozempic and just stop right i like going to a restaurant with a bunch of girls who um i know they're on ozempic but they're not admitting it and right. then we i order everything i want and yeah. then we split it six ways and i get to eat my face off <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it I is think... weird when you're with girls and nobody's <laughs> eating. And I'm like, wait, can we do split skis? Like, I'm so excited to eat. Yes. And everyone's just like. I know. They're picking. and Yeah. Yeah, because I, I guess it makes you actually nauseous. I mean, I wouldn't want to. Yeah. I wouldn't want to feel nauseous, right? You know, um, I think smaller meals are so much better than, because we overeat. We eat too yeah. much food. You know, I just came. I was in Europe um, at a cure with my daughter. And, you know, the the, the thing with. <laughs> Digestion is the whole thing, right? It's what we put in our mouths. But, you know, we drink a lot of fluids when we eat. And digestion is, starts in your mouth. That's where that's where you break down the first part of et cetera. And I feel like we don't give ourselves enough time to even realize that we're full because we're eating too fast. Oh, so yeah, the tell whole me, premise we, in Austria is that yeah, tell me. you have to chew really well. You cannot have liquids 30 minutes before a meal or 30 minutes after because it ruins the digestion. So when you salivate, right? When you think about something and you're hungry, 
that saliva has enzymes to break down the food. And so their, their whole system is that you have to chew 30 times every bite, right, before you swallow it because that's where digestion starts. Oh, and if you drink God. fluids, it washes away those digestive enzymes. So already you're screwing up your digestion. Oh. That's the key. And the Europeans are thinner because they drink, but they'll sip wine. Mm. Small sips. You know, they're not having cold drinks while they're eating. Oh, that's a good trick. Ice water at a table when you're having lunch. Don't touch it. <gasps> what? Don't touch it. Mm-mm. Oh, my God. This is this is juicy. It's scoop. key. Okay. This is these, key. These are that. things and nobody And listen, knows. it cost me thousands of dollars to go and learn this in Austria. <clears throat> at a gut health, it's called the Meyer Clinic. It's very well known in Europe. People from all over Europe. Um, what's um, Hugh Grant's girlfriend was there? The ex girlfriend. Um, yeah, um, I know who you mean. Yeah, the gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. Um, <laughs> Weird science, uh, like yes. yeah, right. Elizabeth Hurley. Yes, Elizabeth okay. Hurley was there with the week before. Oh wow! So I'm going to give you all tips. On yes, just, please. Excuse. 30 minutes before or after a meal, chew your food well because it gives your, it gives your, <laughs> your mind uh, has to be told by the stomach, I'm full. Okay. Right? But if you eat too fast, and it, it, it doesn't have time to register. So you've already overeaten before you feel full. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, totally. So, and sometimes I am so hungry that I'm literally it, inhaling the exactly, food. Exactly, yeah. which is not good for. But you don't have weight problems. No, but, but for I people do, that do, I, but I, if people I just that do did these this, things are very yeah, key. Okay. The other thing is not to eat between meals because you should leave three to four hours between each meal, because what happens is then you spike insulin for your body to make insulin to break down, you know, to sugars and and enzymes, of course. So the body's working. You know, so eating in between meals is not good either. Um, and eating after 7 o'clock at night is yeah, not good. Yeah, that I always knew. And also, no salad after 4 p.m. No salad at night. Cooked vegetables, uh, cooked. You can have, like, arugula. I cooked arugula the other day. It was delicious. So, so raw, you shouldn't eat after 4 because there's a lot of water in salad. It's 99% water. So there you are again, breaking down all those digestive enzymes to digest the food. That is so crazy. <laughs> I should read a book. It's on like it. when you, yeah, like it's a complete miss. So yeah. now, what about? So that is kind of against the thought, and I know some people love the inter, intermittent fasting, fasting, where they would only eat from like eleven a.m. to like five p.m. That's great. Which I hated. Well, that did not work for me. Oh, okay. I like to go to dinner, and I like to, and I was yeah, but, like too, go to dinner too at hungry. Six. You live in L.A. I mean, people eat early here. No. Yeah, but that would wouldn't that break up the four hour breaking thing that you said? Like, no. Well, listen, if you eat it, let's say you eat breakfast at ten a.m. Yeah. Right, and then you have lunch at what? One one thirty, three hour, three to four hours in between meals. I anyway, I don't like it. That just doesn't work for me because it doesn't work socially for me. Right. So my and my so routine like, is I get up, I have a coffee. Um, me too. I I go to the gym, right? Because if I don't go, then I get hungry. Yeah. Too early. Right. Right. So I go to the gym, work out, drink a lot of water, mm-hmm. wait half an hour, and then I have breakfast. Oh. Right. Then, you know, I work and do my thing and whatever. And, and then lunch is at 1, one thirty, And then I try to have dinner before 7 o'clock. I really do. And if I do eat later, I'll eat really light, you know. Vegetables, you know, sh- uh, shrimp cocktail, you know, very light. Fish, you know, light, light, light. And, you and met- a handful like this, a handful, that's for rice and potatoes. Because there's nothing wrong with having rice and potatoes with your food, but stay away from packaged things, you know, obviously. And then you don't eat more than the size of your hand in terms of fish, meat, and whatever. So those are two good rules. Very good. Make a cup with your hand. Now, and that's... are you enjoying a glass of wine here or there now yeah, again? you know, like I say on Ultimate Girls Trip, I said, you know, um, I drink on special occasions, and that trip was a special occasion. occasion. And, you know, I'm just in a totally different place with that, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, you watch you watched me for how many seasons on the house Eyes? Would you ever say that I had a drinking problem? I never thought you did. That's I why did. I didn't really understand uh, what, well, what I mean, there were so many housewives that were way, way more worse having mm. trouble drinking. I mean, yeah, I'm doing, I did fall into a bush, but that's okay. You know, I had a good time doing it. I mean, here like, yeah. I mean, here's Leah. Yeah. On your Ultimate Girls Trip. You were there, right? Yeah. This was at But Ramona's I wasn't house. stripping naked in the pool. <laughs> no, and this is where the... The um, the, the tor- dil- tilt. The dildo was in the yes. chicken. The dildo was Ramona in the chicken. And Ramona was so upset. She's I like, know. this is my house. I hey, <laughs> happening? And um, so we saw that. That was where she threw the tiki torches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, now she is suing Bravo. Right. And all this stuff, though, everyone has... A lot of housewives have come out in defense of Andy. these accusations for mm-hmm. Andy mm-hmm. and, um, you know, of like, oh, you know, he parties with housewives and they're the ones that get deals and it's things, so which doesn't make sure. any sense because yeah. someone brought up Candy on Atlanta has yeah. the most deals of anybody. And I yeah. didn't even know, but she doesn't drink or do anything. No. No. So I'm like, I don't no, think the Atlanta it's who's girls, a party The Atlanta friend. girls are not big drinkers. Some of the franchises are yeah. you know, bigger drinkers than others. But yeah. listen, I've been, I was sober on the show. You know, I did the first Ultimate Girls trip with Kyle, and, et cetera. And Kyle said to me, you, you don't drink? I said, no, I don't. Oh, she that said, was before she was sober. Exactly. But I think I inspired her because she was like... Wow, you're so much fun without drinking. And I could do this show without drinking. And I could do this can show understand. without drinking. I can definitely and Bravo understand. And supported that. That's yeah. when I had my Fosé, you know, at yeah. that point. And we shipped Fosé down there for, for the show for, for me to drink while I was there. In, in fact, Bravo was very supportive of my sobriety, you know, at the time. So, listen, you know, um, we know what The Housewives is. It's parties. It's drinking. It's, it's part of the show. You know, if yeah. you can't handle it, then you should put yourself in that position, first of all. Right. Now, I feel for her because it's not easy, right, yeah. to be sober and she needs a job, et cetera. I get that. You know, but you can't blame Bravo because they're not forcing anybody to drink. It's just not mm. true. Yeah. It's not true. I mean, I, I've been doing it a long time and I've been sober on the show. I've been drinking on the show, you know, uh, Crappy Lake. I didn't drink on that on yeah. Crappy Lake. I was sober then as well. You know, thank God, because I had to reel in Sonya all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snatch guard. <laughs> yeah. But, and, you know, Lala, who's on Vanderpump, I think yeah. she celebrated four or five years of sobriety. Yeah, good for her. And is, you know, always bringing it. I yeah. mean, I understand why there are certain people that the alcohol is a crutch. They, they're they not performers. They feel right. conscious when the camera's around. They right. feel nervous. They feel that's the only way. That they can Because, I mean, watching the fun. housewife shows, whether it's New, Jer- New Jersey or whatever, yeah. where they'd be like, shots, shots. I'm like, I have not done a shot since I was in college. And <laughs> I'm a drinker. Like, I right. love drinking. Yeah, you like but, your wine, though. But, you like yeah, your... but who the hell does shots? But I'm like, oh, I think they're doing shots because they, do need, shots they want to yeah. get drunk, yeah. get a buzz right away because they are nervous. Yes, but that's on them, you know right, what I mean? That's exactly. not the it's, way, like, no. so, but I, I understand it. And the right. whole thing is is interesting. Yeah, no, I get it. But uh, it hasn't been, I, I've never had a problem. And I've never seen Andy party with any housewives, really, aside from his baby shower. Right, which was in the afternoon and fun yeah. as shit. And, and fun as and hell. And also people were drinking, but they were yeah. also, you're, you know, it kind of, inciting each other to yeah. perform and, and be funny fun. and exactly. And Brenda was and... doing her dancing and yeah. you know, Kyle, you know. Yeah. Um, I actually missed that baby shower. You missed it. I did. That was a mistake. I, well, well, I'm I just saying. Your... <laughs> <laughs> I asked the, so Brand, Brandy Glanville recently posted, the last time I was on Bravo, uh, Watch What Happens Live, with Jenny McCarthy, Andy stopped the show in the middle so that Jenny McCarthy could take a 10-minute bathroom bathroom bath room break mm, yeah. which was the only time that's ever happened on all my times now i don't know what she's getting at obviously she's hinting right that there's something true with it doesn't the, take 10 minutes to do you know a, a line <laughs> a line <laughs> in fact she she would be going so much faster if she did a line <laughs> i know i'm like i think speedy, this is, speedy, speedy. I, I, if i was jenny i'd be like yeah guess what had to take a giant yeah. dump <laughs> yeah exactly had, you know, i know i had diarrhea i like, mean maybe she had you know but who knows what it could a, be a malfunction of the wardrobe who knows it could be that it could be yeah. an emergency with her kid who knows right i think grasping is, this is, is a grasping. little grasping and yeah. i also just don't think the general audience this is not the thing that's going to get 
the housewives fans up in arms <laughs> no. about the person Andy who's brought them so much entertainment for the last 15 years exactly. this isn't it I, yeah i i, I yeah. agree so i think that's the problem yeah, yeah. now this is kind of juicy you know you know uh mauricio has a second season of his show yep. on beverly buying beverly hills yep. on netflix yes and we're gonna see the play out more of the play out of why kyle and mauricio broke up mm-hmm. and part of it was he left um, his original real estate firm, which was Hilton and Highland, which is Paris's dad and yeah. Kathy Hilton. I'm familiar. So mm-hmm. Paris put this out. My father is a consummate gentleman and has always taken the higher road. He would never speak negatively about his family, especially in the press. Frankly, we're all sick of him using the Hilton name every chance he gets to plug his lame show. It is enough already. So now that I think this is all helping people want to watch buying Beverly Hills. <laughs> right. Right. Because the nieces are friends. I mean, the nieces are close. They're cousins. Right. Of course. And, so, and this is her. I mean, she's essentially her cousin. So that she's close to well, all the stars sticking, of the show. But she's right. sticking with her. She's sticking she up has, for daddy. You yeah. Because he had said, oh, he should have made me a partner or whatever. And he did it. Right. So I think, you know, it's going to get people watching. Yeah. But I think it's kind of. I wouldn't have said anything. Right. Because, you know, if you don't want people to talk, I mean, why make a statement? You yeah. Know? I mean, um, because the shot, the show is already shot in any case, so it's not going to change whatever's going to happen. Right. True. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? By yeah. putting this statement out, it doesn't change what's already been filmed and what he's already said. Yeah. It just gives it more attention. So she should know better than that. Do you think Kyle and Morgan are more than just friends? Do you think Morgan Wade? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know the answer. Would to you that. ever date a woman? Um, never say never, but you know it's not my thing. You know I love men. Have you <laughs> have you been hit on ever hardcore hit on attempted oh, yeah. by well, a I've woman? Had, I've had an experience uh, with a woman once. Absolutely. Let's tell me about that. Well, she didn't even know what hit her. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? How long oh, ago? Oh God, I would say probably like five summers ago. And it was just you and her. It wasn't like a threesome situation? Yeah, it was situation? like it just happened so naturally, you know. It was just like, you know, I don't know how it happened. It just happens. I think that... And you and you had never... You knew what to do? Well, yeah, don't, darling. I don't know that I would really know what to do. Well, what, what do you do to yourself to Okay, get off? but I mean, I don't... <laughs> how do you go down on yourself? <laughs> no. I well, would not... We do, I would not we do have to... hands, darling. We do okay, have hands. Okay, all right. <laughs> You and then I mean? after that, you never saw the girl again? No. And we remained friends. Yeah. Oh, you're friendly? Yeah. So you're friends before. You had a wild night. Yeah. Were you both? Listen, listen, listen. This it is was, juicy. No, I had just met her. <laughs> okay. I just met her at a party. And then we remained friends after that. Because oh. why not? It was just an experience but that I never had. Because she came on to me. And I was like, I've never had an experience with okay, a woman. Okay, she came on to you. I'm okay. Going, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Just okay. to have the experience. All right. Right. And then you're I like, like to try everything once. Okay, good. You know, and within then you reason. Were like, and you've have you done a threesome too? No, no. That that I that I don't. I find I don't think I that find would sex work for intimate. You. Yeah, I don't think that would work for it's you. It's too intimate. I don't think you'd want to share. No, no, I don't think so. But you know, <laughs> you know, unless there were like two amazingly you, hot guys, would you ever do two guys? Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. Why not? I agree. No. Like I would never. I, I totally say. agree with you. First of all, I've never had a threesome with another girl. I would right. never want to do that. No. I joke about it in my act because right. honestly, I just that would just make me so. We went to a strip club <laughs> once right after we got married in Me- in Cabo. Yeah. My husband and I. Yeah. And I thought I would, you know, never judgmental about stripping or anything yeah. like that. So I thought right. I would love it. Right. And then oh, we no. went to the little room. Yeah. No. And the little girl was so cute yeah. she like a little bikini on yeah, little yeah. tits and she starts doing it and she yeah. starts clawing him right and i did not like you it you did not, not like, like it, it. and mean, then she was like oh let go. me give you attention and i'm like oh. and my husband just threw some money at her he's like she doesn't know what she wants like he's like we got to get out of here like she yeah. doesn't get it right and no, i, I, like, I, I, and feel I like don't think that's for me but well i feel because guess what with three there's always somebody's gonna get hurt yeah. Somebody's going to get hurt. I mean, if it continues. If it's right. just a one-off, that's one thing. But I'm talking about, you know, because there's throuples now. Right. Oh, right? I there's know. I watched the right? show on Peacock. 
Couples to thruples. Couples to thruples. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh one. my God! You know what? When you're oh, flying back, when you're that. flying back, is it on? Is it on the on airline? Peacock. Well, no. Like download oh, it on oh, your download. iPad. Okay, or, yeah, it. it might be on the airline. Yeah, I don't but think so. It, it's pretty sexual. They show the three of them in bed. Right. And there's, you know, most of it is. Uh, a heterosexual couple, a guy girl looking for a girl, mm. but there's a couple queer and gay ones. Right. And um, at first, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then I couldn't stop watching it. Right. Because I was like, "What if this was the norm? Like, what if we were growing up and everybody had like three parents or th- a thruple thing?" Right. Then you wouldn't think it was so weird. It's right. only because we only we've been conditioned that way. Yeah, yes. we've been conditioned these that way. Exactly. Two parents, but um, right. Right. But yeah, it's always, and it was exactly what you said. Even the girl, in all of the scenarios, the girl or the third right. is almost like a little plaything for the two that already have the history and the con- and the and the bond. Right. Which I would never want my child to be a third. Right. In a right. Th- I would never. I would right. be like, absolutely not. If this is something you want, no, no, and no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, for me, you know. Sex is an intimate thing. And, um, you know, but I did have, I got hit on by two guys, I'm talking years ago in New York, and I I always regret that moment, which is that I had these two really hot Italian guys that wanted to sleep, both of them with me. And, at the, and, 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 and I, and at I was the so, same time. At the same time. <gasps> and I was so, like, nervous and Catholic, and, you know, I was like, <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. But I think about it now, and I go, shit, I should have slept with the two Italian guys. But, you know. Um, what do you regret most? Not going to the Miley Grammy party. Uh, not that. screwing the two Italians I at the same time. I regret not going to Miley's Grammy or, party. Or not going to Andy's baby shower. Of the three. Miley. Come Miley. on. Miley, yeah. I mean. Okay, I love good. Her. I think that's the appropriate answer. Oh, yeah. Pro- appropriate. <laughs> We're not being appropriate here today. <laughs> Nothing appropriate about this conversation, but I love yeah. it. I love it. I I talked to one time. I've only talked to one person. She was a makeup artist. Yeah. Who told me that she had a threesome with two guys. Uh-huh. And I got Did she every love it? detail. Did she love it? Yeah, it sounded um, fucking she, hot. Oh, yeah. And then, but then she said she was in a relationship with a guy, a boyfriend, and you know they're having their intimate talks about you know what they've done and and when she told him, yeah, he. Shortly broke up with her. No. Yeah, he was really so. I would say he was turned off. I think he was insecure or turned off. I yeah. don't know what it was. Right. That's and his he problem. He had said I'd had two girls and this and that. Right. But when she said it, I think it is such a unique thing. And I, I think my advice to women is if you do have that experience that Luann <laughs> <laughs> don't pass it up. up. Yeah. Don't pass it up. And then also, I don't think you need to share. No. I don't think you need to share it. No. On you don't podcast. need to tell people. No. I don't think you need to share it with your friend. And I think those are one of the things that I would say maybe don't don't tell the guy. Don't tell a you guy. Know, he might not be cool with it. it. It's your thing. It's your life. Why it, do you have to share it? You don't. You know, it's like, why you do you just, have to tell your body count or whatever? You don't. Yeah, but we tend to tell people way too much. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, uh, I was somewhere the other night for dinner and, and somebody commented, you know, who's that? And I said, well, he could... They just told me their whole life story in two minutes. I was like, oh, sorry about that. You know, it's like, <laughs> no, you know, like around my friends, like, no, we don't need to hear your life story. You yeah, know, spread it out. Don't, you know, don't share too much. You I know, say people, save it for the pod. Yeah, save it for the pod and save it to be a little mis- mysterious. You know, there's there's something to be said for mystery. Yes. Let people wonder more, you know. Yeah. I want to tell you about this. This is a kind of interesting thing. So Nini is supposed is that to do Nini? a show. Nini's the blonde. I don't even recognize her. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Look, look, look at this one. I was not going to bring this up. Look at Kathy Hilton in this oh, photo. Now, well, this is just Photoshop. The, Kathy t- Hilton looks beautiful in person. Yes. Of course, but, she's had some work done. Who the yeah, hell yeah, has it? Uh, okay. But this is extreme Photoshop. Uh, she looks about... 12. 12. I was going to say. She that. looks like you a wax. I think she so. looks like the wax she museum. She literally looks like 12. She looks like if she was a wax museum oh. of herself, where you know how those wax museum figures are like a little off? Like yeah. they don't like. And yeah. have you ever had friends either overly Photoshop you or overly Photoshop themselves and leave you? Or like, what is your opinion of the face tuning apps and stuff? 
Well, listen, I think a little here and there is, you know, because who what who yeah. wants to see, you know, bags or, yeah. you know, you know, because oftentimes we'll smile really big and then we have all these lines when yeah, we yeah. smile, right? right? So, you know, we just can clean those up a little bit. Like the other, I, I, I'll give you a great example. I posted the other day for the Meyer Clinic that I went to in Austria. And I was going into the cold thing. What's that called? The um, cold plunge or no, no, oh, the, the the ice room. The, like yeah, the ice room. Okay, right? uh-huh. whatever they call it. <laughs> anyway, and you put on gloves and stuff because you know you want to get freezing or stuff. Anyway, so I was holding myself like this, and it made all kinds of wrinkles on my belly that I don't have. Right, but it was the way I put my hands. Yeah, made my stomach look really wrinkly. Right. So I fixed it because that's not how I really look. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Why so, not? Yeah. So photoshopping, I think, comes in handy for those odd angles, the right. bad lighting, you know, the smile. Or just some, like, or the just, smile or too you big. smile and there's some cord. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Or, you know, you're looking down and your chin looks like, you yeah. know what I mean? I think it's good for that. But to make yourself look like you're 12, I think that's just stupid. I mean, because nobody believes you're 12. <laughs> I have to say, our good friend Jill Zaret and Patty Stanger, who yeah. I love them both. Patty Stanger posted a photo of she and Jill. Yeah. And I sent it to Allie <laughs> and I go, Who dis? Who like, dis? And she goes, who Oh dis? my God. I'm like, Jill didn't even look like Jill. It wasn't a younger version of Jill. It looked like somebody else. Completely different smile, completely mm. different note. It would look so hilarious. <laughs> but Patty kind of knows it and she's like, I don't care. I kind of love that people. She doesn't even care. Like, right. and Patty looks beautiful in person too. Yeah, no, but she looks her, great. But her photos are like totally who is this twenty-five-year-old yeah, exactly. model that you know just exactly. was in Sports Illustrated? I don't know who this exactly. is. Exactly. Well, yeah. you know, we're not. You know, we're not twenty-five. I mean, yeah. and that's okay. I mean, I'm living my best life at fifty, so I I, I'm embracing when, it. I love when I do a show and people are so sweet, and they're like, "You're, you know, you're so pretty in person." You and are. I think, but I think it's also because I don't Photoshop. Right, my my and Instagram do- much. So when they see me, they're like, "Oh, you, oh, you look, look like you, yeah. and you have nice skin in exactly, person." Exactly. And like, you know, yeah. and I think so many people don't really look like that, or the teeth right. are bigger, or whatever. Yes. And I'm like, yes. you know, but yeah. it's, no, you it's look, kind of a- well, you look because you know, you know, not to overdo it. Yeah, you know, that's the key is really not to overdo it. You know, you can get Botox and fillers and things, but the you know, it can go south. You know, not everybody can have you know the right doctor who you know, who who does the right job. Right. right there's a yeah. lot of there's a lot of charlatans out there. Right. So I thought this was kind of an interesting story. Okay. So they were both supposed to be on this Netflix series, Portia and Nini, mm. called the Upshaws. But Nini claimed that she um she thought she was gonna be collaborating with um Portia Williams, but Portia failed to show up on set. And according to Nini, Portia cited that past issues was the reason why she didn't want to work with Nini. Uh-huh. But in the midst of this divorce, so so Portia married this guy. Yeah. Who turned out to have all these legal issues. I see. A little shady. Uh. But she he she was also the boyfriend of or the the husband of a girl that was like a friend of in uh. one season. Uh. They got married right away, but he was very wealthy, but now they're getting divorced. Uh. And Nini took a photo with him. Mm-hmm. And her and Nini's man, right after the announcement that they were getting divorced, and posted it. And so, an unnamed so Nini woman was with her, her man, Nini and, and, her and, man her and, and her and Portia's, Portia's ex, ex. And, and Portia's ex had another girl there, and oh. they all took a photo, okay. smiling, yeah. and posted it. Right, and then they were supposed to do an episode or a show together on Netflix. And she Portia was up. like, I'm out. Like, right. I don't want to be around Nini. Mm-hmm. And I totally understand that. Yeah, I mean. I wouldn't miss up a part. I, I wouldn't yeah, miss up I a TV opportunity. A I don't think I'd miss a TV opportunity. Of a girl, it seems a little insecure to me. Yeah. No? And also I'm thinking maybe the guys were friendly. Yeah, and maybe this is just a, but a girlfriend have... of Nini's and not a girlfriend of her ex. Here's the other thing. Right? I mean, I don't if know. If the photo showed up, that's one thing. Right. But Nini didn't have to post it. 
So I'm right. reading this that Nini posted it, and some things, you know, not all facts are correct. Right. If Nini chose to post it, right. after knowing that they're getting divorced, yeah, that was a little bit. Of I think rub that's your face mean. in it. I yeah. think that's kind of mean. That's rubbing her face in it. Yeah. But I don't know if I would lose money and and work. Right. To um, now she's just you know hurting herself. Right. <laughs> but maybe she's got other options, darling. And she was like, you know what? I don't need to work with Nini. I can do something else. Yeah. Who knows? Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is this is Kanye and his new wife. Oh, goodness. Have you seen the outfits that he makes the new wife wear? What is this? So these are green tights, and she actually, this is on two different occasions, I think, because she has two different shoes. Yeah. So she's wearing all this. What is seat. he doing up to the top on the right? What is he doing? To I don't know, like fixing her? Is he and fixing then this is the back. Or? The back is she rolled down the tights to show her ass crack. Oh, my God. Wow. And. Have you wow. seen some of the things that are going on in fashion right now? Like full, like sheer, sheer going out with sheer, sheer nips sheer, and sheer, sheer, sheer vagina. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, this is, I mean, that's quite the look. Does she have a brand or something? Is this her brand? No, her of brand is that she's married or no, something. No, I think I've been saying this for a long time. A lot of people think she's like, you know, where they're worried about her and everything. I think she's getting paid by him. Mm-hmm. A huge amount to be with him every month. Mm-hmm. And she's becoming famous and eventually she'll leave and then be able to like tell her story or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think, I think she's got a great are body. They, they're not married, are they? They are like fake married. Oh, I see. Like he says his wife and they said his wife. She does have a but great this, body, I gotta she's say. She's a great body and like. How old is she, do you think? I don't think she's older than 30. 30, yeah. Maybe younger. Yeah. But the other day, Kim Kim was with her, and they hugged each other, and so oh, okay. I don't know. Like, but then I he's, mean, it's, he, it's just, you he's know, wearing all sweats. It wasn't yeah. a warm day. When it looks this like happened. he's he's could be sweeping the streets. I mean, I mean yeah, he wears nothing. It's no, very bizarre. Yeah. Um, but anyway, here's like here's the naked look. See, uh, uh, uh. but then I feel like he has influenced. Fashion because everybody's wearing this naked stuff, just uh-huh. full nips out. Wow. Would you ever wear a sheer top, just nips out? Uh, no. You know what I did? I went to a clothing <laughs> store recently, and you know those little rubber nip covers that yes. we'd always wear? Yes, yes, they're I good, said, those. I said, but now nips are so in. Yes. Like Skims even has a bra with the hard nips on the outside right. of the bra. Yeah. And I asked the girl, I go, is anyone buying these anymore? She yeah. goes, no. No. Right. Remember well, how we'd always have to wear those and then you'd lose one? Yeah, one yeah. One would be falling out of your toe. <laughs> I mean, it's a crazy sheer world we live in. <laughs> Free the nip. Um, Free the nip. Okay, let's, okay, so for this, for the people that are going to be extremely jealous that cannot come on Friday. Oh, yes. Which we will all be there. So the doors open at 7, show yes. is at 8. eight. It's mm-hmm. at the Wiltern. Yes. LA peeps, if you get your friends together go get the last few tickets that are left but where are you going after that if they can't join us on friday well i'm going to be in modesto and sacramento and san francisco now san francisco is sold out but um but i hope they can get to the other dates yes uh, in california and then i'm you know i have a little bit of a break because i had a little blip been scheduling in terms of filming um something another tv gig so i have some time off so i'm going to go to europe um or i'm going to go to charleston south carolina <laughs> yes by the god <laughs> i'm going to go to charleston and you got to sh- got to get your golfing outfit together yeah and then i'm you know i'm going to yeah. be in london i'm doing you know the mighty hoopla festival june 1st and 2nd um and then i'm in manchester england um and so i have dates in england so but people can check out you know my countessluann.com for dates because i've got it all there and this show i am so proud of because it's so good and it's so much fun for me and i love i love the photo shoot of this poster so it's like it's yeah that's mike ruiz you know mike ruiz he's a great photographer in new york he's shot kim kardashian kyle it's it's super clever it's Mm -hmm. you in like a cute little bride outfit for mary then Mm -hmm. there's you in law in like a a classy lingerie Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's you as the murderess. Yeah. Like, Very, what a fun shoot that must have been. It was amazing. And Thomas, Thomas, his name is Thomas. Well, it's like the same the, guy in all three photos. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So handsome. I mean, look at the way he's looking at me, right? And so I, I, anything happened so with him? So looking in the mirror, right? I see him because now he doesn't have anything to do, right? 
Yeah. With makeup or whatever. So he's waiting in between takes and whatever. And I know, and I think for sure, you know, he's, he's, he's gay. So I'm getting my makeup done and I can see him looking at me in the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, he's straight. And he's from Paris. Um, super handsome. And yeah, we, we, we kind of hung out for a little bit after that. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, <laughs> so good. Thank you. Obviously, everything you go to, you hopefully you're following um, Luann, but for the tickets, I always tell people this over and over again for me. Yeah. You've got to go to countessluann.com. D- yes. dot com. That yes. is where you'll get the real tickets, the best tickets. Exactly. Not the ones that were bought and being resold. That's right. Isn't it heartbreaking when someone's like, oh, I can't go and I paid this much for the tickets. You're like, why are you paying that much? Right. That, I'm not getting that. Yes, exactly. The minute you hear that Luann or myself is coming to your city, go right to our websites, I'm HeatherMcDonald.net, and get the tickets there then. Exactly. Don't wait. Exactly. Because, you know... You know, they, they, they do go fast. I mean, California is interesting, though, because people tend to wait yeah. longer, right? It's it's slower. Like, Boston, I sell out. Chicago, yeah. et cetera, and New York, and wherever LA, I go. LA is the worst. London's already sold out. But it's so funny because it's LA is, like, slower. It's We're like a slower for the, vibe. The, the bigger, better thing, <laughs> well, there is none. Go to the show Friday. Yeah, we are going to have a blast. And there's yeah. only a few tickets left. So I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing you all at Mary F. Kill. And I can't... Oh, can't wait. Let me give you a snippet of the song. Oh, yeah. Let's hear it. You have to hear a snippet of the song. Hold on. All right. I love... I'm seeing Lance Bass tonight. And he just said dinner at 530. I love that. <laughs> You like it? I do like it. Great view. Mary F. Kill. Mary F. Kill. Mary F. Kill. Written by Bruce Roberts. I mean, I wrote it, but produced by Bruce Roberts, I should say. And guess what? I think Tracy Young is going to do the remix for me. She won a Grammy with Madonna. I've got a huge remixer. Super famous, Tracy Young. Do you remember her? So we had dinner about 10 years ago. She used to date um, Kim Zolzniak. Do you remember when she what? had that l- love yes. affair? And so they she's did that ma- song playing she's piano behind her? She's a massive DJ, and she's remixing my song right now. And she's won a Grammy, girl. I'm going all the way with this. Like Mary F. Kill. Oh what a great God. hook, right? Does she ever Mary talk to Kim F. Zolciak? Kim. I have no idea. What do you think about that divorce? Mary F. I like Kill. that we're still talking over the music. <laughs> Mary F. Kill. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> do you love it? I love it. Thank you so much for coming back. I, I'm excited I to see your show. Have the best Thank time you for with my you. tickets. We will be there with bells on. And um, this is great. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. Love you. I love Bye. you too.